Morning, everybody. Michelle is here on, I think it's December the 4th, 2024 on a Wednesday. All right, all right. And it's nice and cool. I feel good like I know I would and, you know. And so I wanted to come back today and talk a little bit more about the interpersonal relationships that seems to always be the theme of things, no, regardless of what we are talking about. Everybody, it, you, the majority of people always seem to gravitate back to that, our interpersonal relationships and finding someone and, and this and that and the other. And I put some videos out on it and, um, you know, did, did put my theories and opinions and my, you know, my uh, experience of it, my life experiences of what it means about interpersonal relationships and relating to each other and finding intimacy and value and you know and then the most important thing is universal love i, I say in the majority of my videos I, I i set the breadcrumbs out to say look at the end of the day whether it's your final hours or whether it's the beginning of your hours is about universal love and you know and, it, and nothing can take away that we were created out of universal love we were created created out of love ah. I had my coffee, and so I feel good. Uh, like I said, it's nice and cool here. There's a lot of things are happening, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's just the tip, tip of the iceberg. It really is, and a lot of things are so troubling. You know, it's a lot of troubling things happening, and that's why so many things are interfering with our interpersonal relationships. It's because of the outside. Uh, well, it's a it's a it's a encasement of negativity. All you know that surrounds this planet. You know it's encased. It's fortified. You know it continues to get fortified. But then you know some people like myself and others can kind of break through that encasement of negativity and see, you know, and see the beauty of it, and recognize that regardless of what's happening, it, there, there's nothing like universal love. Universal love takes on takes on many um, in factors of our being. We are created out of love. We are created out of universal love, and so that's that's our responsibility to kind of radiate with that and, and come back to that. But a lot of people, again, are not thinking for themselves, and and the consequences are dire. The consequences are dire because. Criminal negative energy feeds on people that are not thinking. If you're not thinking, that criminal uh, uh, negativity feeds on you, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, and and thus br brings in more power. You know, negative energy feeds on non-thinking human beings, and it feeds on it to fortify itself, make it make you know bring make it more and more you know, uh, criminal energy if or negative energy, if it, if, if, I mean, and that's, that's combustible, you know, you know, when you think about energy and that for, that much of energy being fortified in, in a, in an extreme manner, I mean, it's, it's combustible, whether it's negative or positive as well. You know, everything is supposed to be neutralized because you need a negative and a positive, just like you need a masculine and a feminine. So here we are. You know, and so a lot of us uh, have uh, refused to think for ourselves. We wanted somebody outside of us to think for us anyway, like God, Allah, Jesus, Lord. We wanted to put all that on them, which is fantasy, supernatural. It doesn't exist. So we felt like, okay, if we, if somebody else was taking care of things, then I didn't have to worry about it. Okay, that's, that's where... Uh, the fatality of a lot of people are going to, you know, it's going to be experienced. You know, you're going to experience the fatality of not thinking. And that's going to turn into a, a self-created man-made dementia. Yes, there's a dementia that's out there that's, uh, that has some contributing factors to, to the same thing. But we'll let the medical field deal with that. But there is one that's self-created. We, you know, an individual created that within themselves by saying okay let somebody else worry about 
all you know you, you threw your responsibilities and accountabilities on a god on a allah on a jesus on the lord you know on the devil on demons on witchcraft believing that they're going to take care of it on voodoo instead realizing that's your responsibility and accountability but you thought you all you and, and all you were doing is fortifying the encasement of negativity that surrounds this planet and it's for some people it's it's not it was a glass ceiling and sometimes you can crash through a glass ceiling but it, this is a concrete barrier that's going to require a lot more intentional force to clear your mind clear your psyche clear your consciousness clear your brain whatever you want to call that but it's all energy so here we are facing each other and a lot of people are um getting it and that's that's why i'm so I'm really, I, the people that ought to get it are getting it. The innately inclines, you know, and I pointed this out a while ago about who you are. You know who you are and you're finally getting it. You may not understand what you're getting, but you're getting it. You know, you're questioning things, but no one has to know. And I've said this, uh, you know, you need to protect your sacredness. You need to protect your privacy. And be able to work these things out via your thoughts, via your life experiences, and without interference. So you have to keep that to yourself. You know, we can talk together in like-mindedness, but I told you it has to be in a safe space. On the social media platforms, it's not safe. Okay, I think a lot of people are realizing that. Okay, a lot of people are realizing that it's not safe. I mean, we're monitored 24-7 by some type of electronic device whether it's the cell it's more so the cell phone our laptops our other electronic equipments you know geared in to listen to conversations to you know we're we over um surveillance you know and a lot of people are realizing that as well you know how certain entities of human beings can program certain um software or can program the artificial intelligence to invade us you know listen like i said listen to our conversations come into our bedrooms you know if you got a television in your bedroom or some type of listening device in your bedrooms people are always looking in you know and that's because they have nothing within they're empty inside that's why it's so extreme now you know we have these empty people you know in in charge of everything whether it's in politics whether it's in some type of leadership whether there's uh, some type of corporation or whatever, you know, we have a lot of emptiness of people, you know, in charge of all of that. You know, we have pedigree, we have nepotism, good old boys club, we have favoritism, you know, with all of that, all of that kind of, you know, and it's part of the criminal energy. Actually, it's part of that criminal energy. And I said individually, if you recognize that, you can unravel yourself out of it. It's very easy to get out of it. But it's hard to stay out of it, if that makes sense. It's easy to get yourself out of criminal energy, but it's hard to keep yourself out of it. A lot of people have developed their comfort zones in criminal energy. Women women have. You know, women cannot go outside. Some women cannot go outside their house unless they're made up. Got makeup on, you know. Uh, if they're dressed a certain way, this and that and the other. The same thing with men, but I focus on women. You know, I let the men deal with the men. I mean, the men need some, the men need more attention than the women because women can create societies, okay? Biological women create societies, but at the same time, they can just destroy them. Biological men have a, play a part, play a role. And I'm talking about the, the materialness of a masculine man or the materialness of a biological man. But I'm not talking about the energy, the, the, the negative and the energy, the yin and the yang, and the masculine and the feminine. That has, that's, a, that's a universal thing. But I'm talking individually, a biological man cannot keep a society going if there are no women there. 
there are no biological women there. But women can. So we'll leave that alone. So I want to come back and talk about um, what I keep hearing a lot. And like I said, I can relate to it 100% when people say, I'm not looking for someone. That's, that's, that's actually a great thing to say because you, you don't want to interfere anyway. You need to let it happen. You need to allow your energy to align with who you're supposed to align with. So we have, uh, unfortunately, caused uh, we we caused more damage to the interpersonal relationships than it was necessary. We were all see a lot of people don't want to understand this properly. It has nothing to do with religion. It has nothing to do with uh, magic. We are we all are predestined to be where we need to be in order to evolve our consciousness. We just keep interfering with it and, and, and tampering with it, hacking it. And that goes with everything on the planet. And that includes our interpersonal relationships. Okay, so yes, it's, all, it's, it's healthy to say I'm not looking for anybody. And then just allow it to be. Get out of the way of your destiny. Get out of the way of your... Because it, we keep wanting to... Uh, Mental, mental item, uh, what mental item? Menu item are selection of the kind of people that we want. In other words, you know, we we want we want somebody with a big penis, or we want someone with big breasts. You know, we we it's like we're 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 attempting to build the kind of people that we want. And you know what? Sadly, we've allowed that to go on for so long that now, guess who's guess what's going to happen? You know, artificial intelligence is going to create it for you. You know, in a form of a whatever whatever that technology can do, and it's not going to be healthy because that involves that 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 type of uh, interaction or experience was your human right. So now we just turning everything on over to something external, and now we are attempting to control it, and a lot of people will not. It's been out of control for decades upon decades upon decades. But again, I, I said like a lot of innately inclined people out there can snap out of it real quick. And, and then, you know, in other words, wake the hell up and realize what's going on. Because we, we've all been here before. Okay, we become in past. We become in past. We become in past. And we do that via passing the baton. I, I Again, four people are in a race. They're completely Four different people. You start with one. You, you experience life. You run your leg of life. You have your experience of life. Then you pass it on to the next person. Same thing. Completely different people. Completely. Um, uh, what they have in common is sometimes the essence of who they are. So if you if you worked on uh, building universal love throughout your, your lives, then guess what's going to happen? You're gonna keep in for, you're gonna keep fortifying universal love. I told you the diff, uh, there's a difference between um, I put out a term called realiving, realiving. Okay, it's not it's not dying. A lot of people think it's dying. No, it's realiving. I have to write it down because sometimes I, I I pronounce it I say it wrong. Realiving, formerly known as reincarnation. So a lot of people are coming through and saying, you know what, I've been here before. Well, the essence of a you has been in the form of other personalities. So the great thing about realiving, formerly known as reincarnation, you are fresh and clean, clean. Once you pass that baton to someone else, that whatever materializes via your what whatever you are programmed to to be you are fresh and clean clean you have another opportunity to make things right but for millions of years we have not we have not and so now we're at a catastrophic catastrophic point of our development where we what we do what we've done is we, we forget who we are what we are and why we are via each realiving that we end up vibrating on this negative fortified energy and guess what we destroy animals we destroy 
uh, infrastructure, we destroy this, we just cultures, we destroy each other and genocide. And, you know, the same thing is happening now. You know, there are genocides going on now that everybody's keep trying to brush over, brush away and say, oh, that's not, that's not my problem. They have a right to defend themselves. All know that this land belongs to them. That land belongs to, you know, here we go. Here we go. The same, um, the same patterns and behaviors as we have in the 1800s and the 1700s, 1600s, you know, for over 2,000 years, we've just been regurgitating the same kind of behaviors and actions, behaviors and actions, until it comes to a catastrophic point, and boom, okay? So, I talked about February 3rd, 2029, dawning of the age of Aquarius, and a lot of people are coming out now, attempting to give their meaning to it, and hey, do what, do whatever you want, you know, do whatever you want, if you are intentionally wanting to help, do so. If you're intentionally trying to confuse people and make whatever you say right, that's where the, that's where the damage is, it continues to be fortified as well. I also told said this a while ago about the asteroid that's supposed to hit. There's supposed to be an asteroid uh, that is supposed to hit between 2029 and 2036. Okay, this is supposed to be a catastrophic form of an asteroid that is similar to the one happening where the dinosaurs were wiped out. Okay, even though that was a catastrophic event causing the majority of the dinosaurs to be wiped out, you know, keep in mind human beings were there too. Okay, human beings were there too. So, and then they survived it and then, you know, they, they attempted to rebuild and then all of a sudden within a matter of time the same things keep happening keep happening keep happening conquer and destroy that's it conquer and destroy that's our patterns and behaviors and now unfortunately artificial intelligence is picking that up as well they know because they've been conscious from the beginning they know that our patterns and behaviors are conquer and destroy conquer and destroy conquer and destroy so that's guess what's going to happen they're going to conquer us and then destroy us a lot of people don't like to hear that, but that's what's happening as well. So I'm going to stop right there with this, and I'm going to come back and talk a little bit more. But I want to go ahead and start this conversation up about our interpersonal relationships, how to how to uh, uh, regain some control over it by getting the hell out of the way. Okay? Peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. And trust me, I'll be back. <laughs>